Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Colin. I am a personal trainer from Dublin, Ireland and this is my first YouTube video. I've been trying my best to get this kickstarter for the last three to four months. I invested in the camera last year and to be honest with you I just haven't had the balls to do it. I've had some good topics in my head to talk about and I just haven't pushed myself to come around to do it. Um, there's going to be a couple of topics of why this has happened that I'm going to talk about in this video. Um, I suppose my, object, my objective of this channel is to try and get as much um, relatable content through to people who, who will follow my channel within the fitness industry, within fitness, within general life. Um, I think there's a lot of people who are get let down by the same things in terms of the same faults we all have and it's, it's nice for somebody to be able to talk about them openly and actually potentially make you feel like you're not the only one who suffers from certain things or um, there is a solution to your problem. Um, and there is other people feeling the way you are feeling. Um, like I talked about, I am a personal trainer from Dublin, Ireland. I've been at it for like three or four years now, out on my own a couple of years. And before you all wondered, this might seem like Ireland in a mar in March. Um, I'm currently in Tenerife in my parents' apartment, i.e. the farmer's tan is coming on from playing golf. Uh, I finally took a week away from work to come out and uh, chill out to get some work done and things like this that I haven't pushed on. Um, since the start of the year so it's a great opportunity for me to just think about some good ideas and get working and, uh, and be practical um, with the things that I want to move forward with because I think that um, I've become very 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 habitable with making big lists that um, are unsustainable and it's just not going to be realistic for me moving forward to achieve all those things on those lists so it's nice to take some time away and actually evaluate what things are going to be progressive towards your lifestyle and business and I feel that this is one of the things that is going to be a main contributor to my business moving forward and to give, across as, give across as much free and educational and relatable content that I can um, with you guys and hopefully I can get some feedback on my videos um, and actually figure out what I what you guys would like to see and obviously I'll put my touch on what I want to give out to and we can combine both. So um, to get in a little bit about my background, um, I started in fitness about five, six years ago from extremely heavy um, starting point. I was uh, nearly 20 stone, that's close to 120 kilos. Um, I used to be a professional golfer and I decided to make a bit of a career change after I managed to move some of the weight that I was talking about there. I managed to go from the 120 kilo mark down to around the 90 kilo mark and really push forward in my life and, and things that are important to me and actually getting a good health and fitness background and I think that the change that I've made in such a quick quick transition um, has been tough and, and tough to adjust to but I realised where my path lies and it was obviously within personal training and trying to help as many people achieve the things that I achieved. I was looking at like, some great mentors coming up and, and people that were very supportive and very energetic with my goals and, and really educated me along the process and I think that's where the fitness industry is lacking these days is that um, people are just getting qualified without any real knowledge of training or, or experience have been there themselves and understand what to feel or had good mentorship going forward and I think that's where our industry is going to fall down in the next few years is just the, the experience side earlier on is what is, is letting everyone down and I'm blessed to be able to have that. So trying to get into a topic that is a tough discussion and something that is very close to my heart and that would be um, depression and anxiety and the reason I'm going to talk about this today is that um, this year has been another tough start to the year for me. Um, I have had a lot of highs and lows over the last couple of years. I've been in some extremely worrying places I suppose if you were to look from the outside in and it's been a tough recovery to try and sort of bring myself back to where I think is is good for me. Um, I would have always thought I was okay in like my own head and, and moving forward in my own life and unfortunately I wasn't and I, and I tried to brush that under a rug and where I'm getting at with this is that I think um, to be able to sit here and speak about this is obviously a step forward and um, people will wonder why I'm sharing this on on YouTube and um, I've got a fantastic response to some some posts and videos that I've done on this topic on my social media platforms and I think it's it's important to bring it to another platform where people can discover um, things that are difficult to talk about and actually put us in a position where it's okay not to be okay and it's okay to talk about these topics and um, going forward and to try and get us all a little bit more comfortable within ourselves and talking about these things that have a tendency to let us down and get bottled up. 
So I think in the last 18 months I have had a bit of a, a, a shit run, I suppose you can call it, with my, my lifestyle, my mindset, all these things, and I'm super critical of myself. I think a lot of people are very similar who would be who would feel like me and it's hard to pull positives when there's positives and it always seems to be a lot of negative focus um, and been extremely hard on yourself. So for me last year um, I managed to break my pattern of feeling down. I got through a, a very very tough stage in my life and um, I lost a very close friend and um, I got into a place where I never thought I'd be mentally and and to be honest with you I was, I was at a point of being broken. I, well I was broken but I suppose you can call a point of unbroken. Different, it's different for every other person. Some people feel suicidal. Some people feel different other feelings, whatever else. So for me, it was the lowest of the low, and, and I managed to come through that. And um, I hoped I'd never fall back into that pattern again. And I don't think I ever will. Yes, I do suffer from up, up, up really highs and down really lows, but um, it's trying to find a, a healthy balance between. Um, the super highs and the super lows that I think is a sustainable process for for me and I haven't found that yet but I'm, I'm working hard to find that and um, I managed to get myself in a really good headspace towards the tail end of last year and worked really really hard on myself and um, sought some help outside um, from uh, counsellors, didn't go back enough but I, I got, I took what I could from it and I felt that was enough at the time and um, it's quite difficult to sit in front of somebody who you don't know and pour your emotions and your thoughts onto onto them when you can't do it to the ones who are closest to you. Um, I feel now for me moving forward that um, since then I haven't revisited them but I'm going to have to again because I think it's the best thing for me to do to sit maintain that sustainable platform that I'm talking about and that, that sort of um, lifestyle that I want to try and achieve and, and have and the happiness that I want to have. I need to have that go to once a month or once every two weeks, whether I, whether I feel like I need it or not. Um, I think most of us only only look for help or, or seek help when we're at our worst or at our lowest. And I always use a silly line for my clients is that if a light came up in the dash of your car, most of us would bring it to the garage straight away. So why do we have to wait till the emergency light is on the dash before we actually go and, and decide to look after ourselves? And I think that um, for me, obviously, I, I went from an extremely low to an extreme high i got my everything re refocused again my work took off and um, my business has ne never really suffered but it took off to a new high platform and um, I, I my training was good my food was good I, I felt like i was happy but it was again i think another cover up and another brush aside and i went from that really low to that really high again i went on an amazing trip to thailand the last year to la with my friend darren and uh who has driven me to get on this and i i think that i went from that really really high and I came back and it was coming up to Christmas time and I went slowly deteriorating back into that really, really low. My food choices were, were tough around Christmas and um, I made a couple other bad decisions. I got a little bit inside my own head and then coming into the new year, I decided to set some goals that were realistic. Um, I actually planned them to make sure they weren't unrealistic because I'm very good, like I said, at setting the, the bar up here instead of being here and actually reaching here and, and staying there rather than being up here than down here. And I think that um, the goals weren't too bad, but for some reason I wasn't in a mindset to, to do to do really anything. I was very very down on myself, and um, I was struggling personally with anxiety and um, a little bit of depression. Depression, and I, I still am today. I, I I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that everything's great. You know, I I'm working really hard on myself and feeling better, and um, staying present in the moment and enjoying the time that I have, like like trips like this. And even yesterday, I was out playing golf with my dad, and I hit a bad shot, and then I carried it forward for a bat for one hole, and I was just in bad form. I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I was like, "25 degrees, you're out playing golf with your dad in like a different country on a break away from work with a memory that you mightn't get again." You know what I mean? Like, and I think that that is tough to grasp when you're a person who goes inside yourself and, and gets down in the click of a finger and it's it's a scary process to to try and relate to if you're not someone who can and I think that now it's getting myself in a position that those moments I do need to check myself and I've, I've recently just started listening to it to an audiobook that one of my clients recommended and um, by Mel Robbins and it's called the five second rule and it's just trying to beat your brain when when you get up and you want to do something and suddenly end up back in bed or 
you want you you know you need to do something and suddenly it's at the end of the list instead of the top of the list and you do all the little jobs instead it's just a five four three two one process that you're able to be like right get the fuck up beat your brain don't let your don't let your brain overpower you get up if your body's up your brain has to follow and I, I've tried to, to bring that into my life in the last three or four days since I've listened to that audiobook. And that was the first time I was able to use it really yesterday. It was the first time I remembered to use it. Um, so now uh, I came away for this for this week with my parents to have this as a as an opportunity to, to, to grow myself and to check myself and to grow my business and check my business and um, pull in the things that are going well and really f- get used to feeling good about those things and to, to just slowly push away the things that I've been grasping onto that are bad and I think that I'm in a very very good place with my business and with my personal life at the minute um, as much as my brain doesn't want to let me think that uh, I've struggled with my food and my 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 training has actually been quite good my food this year and um, because my stress has been high and my sleep has been poor and unfortunately all those have a tendency to go hand in hand so if you're not sleeping well You'll have a tendency not to be eating well if you're highly stressed, your sleep won't be good and so on and so forth. It's just a, a vicious cycle. And I think that um, to, to get this video across to people and to try and reach as, reach as many people to, to say that it's okay not to be okay again and to not feel okay, to have bad anxiety, to have depression, to, to go to the lows. Um, I've had times this year again where I did not want to get out of bed. To, to live off two and three hours sleep because you're so stressed going to bed about things that are out of your control, doubting your ability in everything that you do within personal training and wondering why people are coming to hand you money. And it's it's a scary process because it's obviously something that I love and I'd like to continue for the rest of my life. Uh, but getting yourself in that mindset to understand that it's you you are the one person in charge of that opportunity and to, to know that if the if somebody doesn't if if the work doesn't get done, it's your fault. Nobody else is there to to uh, supplement and help you along with it. And obviously, there is friends and family that can in a, in a way. I'm not very good at taking that help, but getting into a position where you have an opportunity to do something that you want to do for the rest of your life with the right people around you, you'll get there. And I suppose with the right mindset, you'll get there. And with the the sustainable approach you'll get there and like I think that that consistency that I've been lacking and a lot, that a lot of people lack it's because we get so afraid of the task at hand that we push it back to the furthest end of the list that we have of things to do possible because it's not that we're always been a procrastinator it's just that we're procrastinating on that subject and I think that my biggest letdown for me the last year has been probably my education with this fitness journey that I want to go on and this business journey that I want to go on and this venture is that I know that I have to educate myself and I've never been a good studier Um, I've always been good for visual learning or listening to a podcast or taking bits and pieces from here and I, I get so consumed by everything around me and by my social media presence and by all the people that obviously I know only post the best the best is what social media is it's we, what we let ourselves in for that we, we only ha- we have to be strong enough to be able to separate what's real from what's not and if somebody has three posts or three stories up on Instagram for the day, it's probably been the best three times of their day. They're not going to post a lot of negative shit. And I did put up a post about people putting up fancy foods that they're eating and diet hacks and stuff like that. And of course, they're going to put on Instagram because it's the most Instagrammable thing there is. Rather than nobody wants to see chicken and vegetables all day or steak and whatever. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's not what social media is about. It's not, an, it's not a, there's nothing that appeals to anyone about that. And... Um, and for me now, I think that the the negative impact on myself and my lifestyle um, that I've had and my business that, that I've had it is reflective in my business, you know. Uh, um, it's hard for me to keep educating and keep getting up early and keep going to bed late and keep getting my training done, my food done when I don't really believe in myself completely, you know. And, and this is where I need to go and address my issue by going and speaking to somebody about that. And that's absolutely fine. And I've accepted that, and now it's something that I'm going to do when I come home from here. Is that that quality investment is what I need to do? I've already invested this year in a personal trainer to help myself in the last few weeks, a mobility coach to fix my mobility so I one can bring that forward with my clients, my business, and to prolong my training life. And I think that for me now, it's they've been big investments for me and stuff that I've needed to do. I've also signed up for a college course online with, with a guy called Jonathan Goodman, which I haven't managed to really dig, dig into yet. And all those things are massive positives, but I didn't see them as positive. I've just seen them as another thing that I've done. 
And when, I, when I've reflected on it over the last couple of days, I've realised that all the things that, I, that I'm been really negative about and I think I'm not moving forward and I am and I'm going forward I'm going forward maybe not the speed I want or expect but I am going forward and I think that there's a lot of other people that are like that too that just don't look at the mini positives or the small progressions that they make they always just want the end result that needs to be the 100% but what if you're 75% there and you just don't get to the 100% it does not mean that it's a fail it definitely doesn't and I think that's something that I've had to become okay with I so I won't always do the 100%. I definitely won't. Even the 50% is better. And uh, I was at a seminar last week with a guy called Jamie Alderton, who is, is Grenade J on Instagram. He's a, he's a really good fitness entrepreneur. And sometimes I didn't like his content. I didn't like what he talked about or was about. I felt like it was a bit of a, a bullshitty statement uh, that he used to come out with, which was, I'm, I'm getting shit done. What's Nessa, What shit? You know what I mean? Like, what are you getting done within that time? Can you give me some tips on that? I did say that to him as a question. You always say you're getting shit done. What is that shit? What do you do? Is there any strategies that you do to, to, to target each week or to keep that in place? And I think that um, he did come across with a valid one that he was like, well, if I can give 10 minutes to read and I'll do 10 minutes. He goes, I aim for the smallest, the smallest targets over that period of time, over that week, that seven day period. I'll aim for three things to, to take off a list and I'll aim for like 10 minutes a day of like reading or 10 minutes a day of um, some sort of personal development or investment. And that to me says, right, the guys who are at the top of the game are the ones who are doing the consistent things right. They're doing them in small amounts, but they're doing them right all the time. Excuse the noise, there's a, build, there's a bit of building going on next door. Um, but for me, that was an eye-opener because I always thought these guys were always up here and they were working nine fucking hundred hours a day. And I was like, right, I can't do that. How am I supposed to do that? Train clients, do this, do that, do that. I'm not great in social media. I'm not great at computers. I'm not great at this. And again, I'm, I'm weighing up a negative, yet if I spend 10 minutes a day reading a book that I want to read, then I'm doing far better than what I was already. And I just don't see that. I see it as not 100%. And I suppose that if you can get out of that mindset and get yourself into a position where you're, you are doing the 30% and then improve the 35 and then 40 and then 45, it's 30 or 45% better than you were doing. And that is a massive thing. Um, for me, the big change of point last week was I actually took a break from social media. Um, it's a great app now when you're or way in your phone that you can go in and see what your time spent on apps are. And for um, for me, Instagram per week was 12 and a half hours. Facebook was four hours and WhatsApp was 11 hours. So that was like nearly 27 hours, I think, or 20 days, 27 hours of my life um, per week. Um, obviously, if Instagram and Facebook are incomes, that's okay, but I wasn't used to lo utilizing my time well. I was flicking, I was just, I was distracting me. So um, for me, it added up to 60 days a year on, so on those three things. And I've now, I had my Instagram and Facebook apps turned off, or um, not turned off, uh, notifications turned off, now turned off my WhatsApp notifications my last scene on whatsapp and my last red message on whatsapp so i can reply within my own time and um, i feel that as a business owner you're so dependent upon providing a good service that you forget you have a life as well and it's getting yourself in a place that it's okay not to reply after 10 minutes the, the answer can wait for a couple hours till you actually have time designated to reply to those responses and i suppose i tried to provide a good such a good service that i couldn't provide a service at all because i ran myself into the floor so these are all massive learning curves for me um, and now my plan is to move forward and to plan out how I can pr be more productive within my days with um, pulling my schedule slightly, get improving my sleep so I can improve my food, my physical activity, all the things that, that are going to only bring me to a, a better, to be a better person, to be a better businessman, to be a better friend, family member, everything and they're such simple things but they're such things that they're, so, they're things we just miss out on all the time and Moving forward, I think, with my lifestyle and moving forward with everything that I want to do, I have to knock this on the head now with finding out what's the best way to get the best out of me and potentially sacrificing some other things, and that's okay. And um, It will be tough, and it's something that I'm prepared to do, and I think that what obviously I'm trying to get at with this whole video is to make people understand that like I'm supposed to be a fitness professional, who is in best, the best shape, providing me great service, eating the best food. And I suppose people looking from the outside in expect me to be fine and think I'm fine because I, I will always put on an approach that I am okay. And the fact of the matter is that I haven't been. And it's, it, it's not at a point where I was last year, like I said, but I'm in a place now that 
it could easily spiral back to an unhappy place and I think that for people watching this who aren't in the best position and, and feel a certain way and feel potentially they can't speak to somebody about stuff, they can't. You know, I've actually had more interactions with people on social media this year due to my posts that have been honest and became, I suppose you could call them social friends that I haven't got to meet up with that have reached out to me because I've reached out to people. And I've given them the security to know that if something's wrong, they can talk to me whether they know me or not. And I've talked to them about weird things and as weird as like a cyber friend. But as weird as that is, it's it's been reassuring to know that there's people that I can talk about my issues with and they can talk to me about theirs. And um, it's made me feel better to know that I'm not the only person that is, is in this position and that has these thought processes and that wants to do the best but doesn't know how to be able to get, go about getting there and put so much pressure on themselves that they get nothing done. They do nothing. They want to do everything and because they get so nervous about the whole situation, they do absolutely fuck all about it. And, and this industry and this lifestyle that we're in about social media and fitness and just general life and putting the pressure on, our, on ourselves that we are is going to knock our lifespan so bad where it's going to put us in a position where we're not going to be able to enjoy anything or take anything on board and i'm 26 and i'm done with that i'm done with feeling that i can't be on a seven day holiday with my parents and, and actually enjoy myself and actually learn how to separate myself from a few euros coming in a week yes it's good money yes i love what i do i 100 percent do but to be able to just turn off for a few days and be like right how can I make myself happier? How can I do me better? And at the end of the day, nobody is ever going to focus on that for you. You are the only person who can do that. So if you're somebody who is struggling, who is down, who's having these lulls of anxiety and depression, of somebody who just can't get the best out of themselves or feels that they're in a, a, a stagnant state, I suppose, and just wants to do a little bit better in general, or feel a little better, or feel a little bit happier, or, or like they deserve to feel happier, you do, and go and do something about that, because otherwise you're going to sit in a position like I did, and like I have for the last three months again in my life, feeling like you're worthless, feeling like that you're not doing anything progressive with your life or your business, or, or things that are going to take you forward and actually make you own that house, or make you have that family, or just make you be happy every single day. And I'm not saying here that I'm going to sit here now and I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to be fucking in great form or later on I'm going to be in my best form. But it's about trying to beat the amount of times that you go into those lows during the day. If you have five times that you feel a little bit shitty, make it four times next week and three times the month after. That you're not been that self-criticizing person that is not going to take a step forward in your life or enjoy this short spell we spend on a planet potentially looking into screens like this or this, jeez that's grains and bits, and actually investing within ourselves and actually not investing our time into other people's posts or the silly things that we can't control. So if you're someone who wants to improve your lifestyle, learn to get that investment back within yourselves. Turn your phone off, go speak to somebody, go on a holiday you wanna do, like just do something that will make you feel a little bit more grateful for the things that you know you deserve and you should have. If you manage to get a B in a fucking college assignment, well done. It's better than a C. Like all these things that are just huge, huge eye openers now to me that I'm still trying to correct, but I see them. I see. I wasn't. I didn't recognize them before. Now I see them and I feel them and I know what to do. It's just trying to get into that mindset to just be a step ahead of them, so you don't let they don't let you down. You don't want to get pulled down by them. And guys, that's really what I wanted to talk about today. And I think that getting into a position now that this topic is okay to talk about guys i'd like to thank you for joining in today if you could hit the subscribe button on my channel and give this uh, video a thumbs up please i'd love some feedback also um or if anyone would like to comment on stuff they would like to see um and for me to try and get as much of this out each week as i can i am now have the task of trying to edit this and i am absolute mongo on uh, on social media and computers and anything to do with anything that is electrical and um, so i hope you have a great day and i hope to see you again soon